All right, what up, people? Welcome back to the channel. It's your favorite YouTube couple, and today we are going to be looking at some of the craziest things you can buy on Amazon.com. Ugh. Sorry, forgot. I forgot. We all know that you can get many, many things on Amazon from your groceries, which literally I just did, so I didn't have to go to the store later tonight, to uh, diapers. To what she also got for herself. What, what's another thing you can get on Amazon? Freaking toothpaste, video games, electronics, TVs. Okay, dresser, we get it, we get it, we get it. We get it. But today, we're gonna be looking at the strangest things that you can buy on Amazon. And this is almost like a good video for us because we're gonna see what we can buy and then maybe some of these things we will actually buy to see how cool or how stupid they actually are. So let's get into this. Let's see what weird stuff you can buy. Now, I have actually seen these before. What? And yeah, you, no one knew like this is actually real, but it is legit real. You can buy a house on Amazon and that might not look like a house, but that is literally a house inside of a shipping container. And it says these are $36,000, but obviously you need land to that's put in. That's actually like pretty cheap though for a house. Like that's yeah. like not that expensive. Yeah. I mean, it's not a house. I mean, it's not like the greatest thing ever, but you can literally a house, buy a house on Amazon for 36,000. All right, the next thing you can buy is uranium ore. What's uranium ore? I don't know. It's uranium. Oh, wait, wait what, what is, is it? uranium, though? It's, uh, I think they use these to make nukes, I think. You can buy that on Amazon? But I think this is, like, not, like, the purest form of uranium that you it use It literally for says nukes. radioactive content. But there's no way it's actually that bad. Like, it might be technically radioactive, but it's probably not going to, like, make you sick or but anything. But why would you buy that? And also, it's $40. I don't know. Yeah, you can buy it. Here it is. Wow, incredible. Has pretty good reviews too. Mm -hmm. Now this one is pretty interesting right here. You can literally buy an organic mushroom farm. Is this real mushrooms? Yes. Maybe, you remember that one restaurant we ate at where they say, we grow our own mushrooms. They were lying. They just buy them on Amazon and then plant them in their little pots and pans. But that's growing them. But you're not growing them from like the seed or whatever. Oh. They're already grown. It's mm -hmm. like, I grew this tree from birth from a seed. No, you bought it when it was 15 feet tall. Uh, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. God, who would buy these? Me. You would buy a mushroom farm? I think farm? it'd be cool to like have your own mushrooms. Yeah. But do mushrooms, like when you cut the mushroom off, do they grow back? Is it like a tree? Andrew, I don't know. Now this is a product I can get behind. Mm -hmm. This is pure innovation right here. You want a tissue? Well, you gotta pull it from a cat's booty. It's literally called a cat butt tissue holder. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, and that's 35 bucks. Oh, never mind. You can buy almost this. buy two mushroom farms for the price of one cat butt holder. Okay, if you're feeling lonely, if you miss your grandparents, well, guess what? You should not feel that way anymore because you can get a wall decal of senior citizens in a golf cart. Kind of a very random <laughs> thing. Like, I kind of want to buy that and just slap it on the wall back there. That's, I mean, what else is there to say? What else is there to say? I'm kind of sad it's not the full cart. Like, it looks like it's kind of cut uh, off, you yeah, know? Oh, yeah, that's true. So you don't see the full, like, yeah. wheels, but still cool. For $21.96, this is yours. On Amazon.com. All right, you can also purchase a peanut butter and jelly of the month club for a small fee of $468.96. You click on that because yeah. I want to know what the no, heck I was going to say we had to click on this one to actually see what the F they're talking about. Um, Yeah, gourmet peanut butter and jelly of the month club. 12 months. Oh, it's a 12 month subscription. Okay, that's a steal right but there. But I feel, no, it's not. You could make so many peanut butter and jellies for a year that doesn't cost 400 something dollars. Dang it. No one has posted any pictures of it. Frick. All right, now, if you love bacon and you love mustaches, you can buy yourself a bacon mustache. No, not a mustache that looks like bacon. A mustache that smells like bacon. I feel like I wouldn't even need to do this because I can just take bacon grease and just... That's just... Disgusting. You know, load it up, baby. Let's go. I, I mean, for four bucks, it's kind of a steal, but I feel like I could get a thing of bacon for cheaper than four bucks. And then like, yeah. Okay, I f actually just recently see someone try this and the dog hated it. Like, Look how cute that dog is. That dog is literally so cute. Like the idea is flawless, you know, like put the thing around the dog and then do that. But I don't know if dogs are going to react the same way as this. Oh, the puppy. Now, Andrew needs this for sure because we all know that he drinks a lot of soda. Well, I actually don't know if you guys know that, but he does drink a lot of soda. I don't drink a lot anymore. Mm hmm and no, I don't need this because that only holds one. I need one that holds about 12. And I'll run through those 12 so in a day. So that's a mini fridge, not a mini desk fridge. Yes. 
But for $40 though, is that worth it? No. Is that worth it for 40 bucks? No, it's not. Okay, now if you wanna be a doctor, or a surgeon or whatever, get one of these. This is a suture practice kit, which means you were, this actually looks kind of cool. I actually would do this. Like you're, it gives you like a little flesh, little thing, and you're gonna sew it up with the needle and thread they give you. That's actually a good idea. Learn how to give some stitches. Yeah, if Claire's bleeding out of her face and I need to stitch her up before she bleeds out, I am going to pull out my practice suture, suture kit and fix her up. Now, if you want some cucumber pickled <laughs> lip balm, then look no further than Amazon.com. You can find the Mr. Pickles world famous pickle lip balm pucker up. And if you're wondering why Claire said that so weird, the last video she tried convincing me that a cucumber was the same thing as a pickle, and I said that is absolutely not I can't, the case. I literally can't get in because this with you. pickles are not cucumber; they're pickles. <laughs> But if you would have to have a weird obsession with pickles if you want them to just be on your lips, just nonstop. I think people love pickles that much. I think that's the thing. Ugh. When your floors are dirty and you have a kit, get yourself a baby mop. Boom. They'll sweep it right up. They're crawling around. They'll sweep all the stuff up off the ground. Well, I guess mop it up. You're really killing two birds with one stone. But look at that baby. It's so cute. Mm-hmm. It's a cute baby. It's like, why are you making me work, mom? Uh... Is this a CD or a movie or? I think it's a book. That's a book? <laughs> That's a wide book. If you want to read your cat a book about other people dancing with cats, then you buy them this book for thirteen twenty-two. Why are these prices so I don't so know. Weird? I feel like the, weird, the weirder the item, the weirder the price. <laughs> you know, like we're selling pickle flavored lipstick. We need to sell this for fourteen thirty-six. Um... I want one of you guys to buy this and just let me know how it goes and if your um, bathtub smells like a roast beef sandwich. I just puked. Why is this even a thing? Why would any, oh my gosh, I can't even fathom the fact that people would do this. If they have it for roast beef, I wonder what else they have it for. Do people, do people like roast beef sandwiches that much that they want to bathe in a roast beef? beef? I, I like roast beef. But I would never want to soak my innocent skin inside of a roast beef beef broth. Look at that, like what you put. Ooh. God, that's disgusting. It's like that Epsom salt or whatever yeah. it's called. There's just roast beef particles. God, that's just stupid. These are actually impressive. I These was... are dog pillows, and they honestly look pretty legit. The dog on the right's like eye looks a little. <laughs> little off but the dalmatian it honestly looks legit you know that there's people out there that loves their love their dogs that much mm -hmm. that they're gonna go and they're gonna buy these pillows and then if they travel and they can't be with their dog they're gonna take one of these mm -hmm. with them now i don't know about you guys but if you've ever been in a place where there was no bathroom mm. you know it's just the worst like what do you do but now there's a solution you can get the gotta go poncho the ultra portable restroom god that is so disgusting so these come with a poncho a poop bag a pee bag and a toilet cloth that's good for road trips if you're trying to make it in one trip like boom you gotta take a dookie or you gotta take a leak boom pull out the pier poop bag and they got the toilet cloth as well okay so let me ask you this question hit me what do you do with it after then eat it now this is a pop socket i'm assuming right no oh. it's a gift for the person that tells you they want nothing then you buy them nothing what is it just a it's a ball of nothing oh so it is it looks like a pop socket wow i completely missed that look it completely says, missed it the gift of nothing is yours to discover wow Okay, now here we have something for all you soap fanatics out there. People like collecting soap, I'm yeah. assuming. And this here is a frog-shaped soap bar with a name, Steven. It's only three stars. I don't know if three stars is good or bad. I don't know. If you want frogs and soap and a friend, get yourself the frog-shaped soap, soap named Steven. That's all for that one. I definitely would want this. It kind of looks creepy, for honestly. For sure. Have you ever squeezed any of those squishy things? What is it? It's bread oh, and it's, it's a, a squishy toy. Oh, it's a loaf of bread. Actually, yeah. It's like... I just kicked the camera. camera. I'm, so I'm so sorry. sorry. Forgive, Forgive, me. Me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. I have effed up. up. Now, now I must, must be punished, be punished. For, for my, my error. Forgive me, master. What am I doing? Tell me to stop or I'll keep going. <laughs> oh, God.
That's a dehydrated coyote. <laughs> This is absolutely the creepiest piggy bank, I guess you would call it, that I've ever seen. Is it the guy that was in National Treasure or whatever that's called? I can't think of what it, that... Nicolas Cage? Yeah, is that supposed to be Nicolas Cage? <laughs> I'm getting Nicolas Cage vibes out of this thing. I don't know why, but that's... I don't think it's Nicolas Cage, but it does kind of look like Nicolas right? Cage. Right? Right? Yeah. You guys see it. Well, there you guys have it. We looked at some of the weirdest items on Amazon, and yes, these were really weird. Weird. If you want a PB&J uh, club, month club, whatever. If you want Nicolas Cage piggy bank, or what else? What I can't even remember what else there was. Pickle that's toothpaste good. could be an idea. Someone make that. Let's go. Or cucumber flavored pickles. But make sure before you leave to like and subscribe and turn on your post notifications. We are shutting down. Goodbye. Beep boop beep boop bop beep bop. Oh, oh, oh.